times when the Ukrainian public procurement sector had been considered to be the most corrupt uh, out of the all, and Ukraine, uh, we would be honest, is known for the high-level corruption, and now Ukrainian companies uh, and the, some of the government programs are winning the Open Data Awards, and uh, we know that estimated 2 billion USD will lost every year the corrupt schemes connected to the sector, but since uh, launching in March 2014 the Prozoro Open Source System Initiative, Ukraine had saved almost 55 million of the US dollars. Uh, this is a very important anti-corruption drives, and the, uh, this is a lot uh, was uh, granted th thanks to this initiative, uh, which is a joint initiative of some of the people from the government, Ukrainians from the IT sector who joined the government, and uh, Ukraine also has joined VTO government procurement agreement. Um, I'd like to also show that this week we are not talking. We're talking about the Prozora because uh, you can see one of our um, deputy minister who has won the Open Government Partnership Award at Open Government Partnership Global Summit in Paris. Uh, so that is something new for us. Uh, so this is a huge step and uh, we at this program would like a bit to analyze. So is it all good? Uh, what we can do more? What probably are the loopholes? But at first we'd like to show a piece of our uh, program uh, reform watch about Prozoro. Our team hopes that this system will become so simple for analysis that every person can check it. For example, you are walking along the street, you see a road which is not of quality and you can automatically understand whose work it is, what else this company did and can also share this with the public. In this case, our citizens will demonstrate more interest and won't wait for the president or prime minister to come and solve all the problems. I'm the owner of my country and I'm controlling what is going on here. Ну, як журналіст, мені це дуже цікаво через те, що напевне буде змінено. To me, as a journalist, this system is of great interest. Corruptors are very talented, and we compare them with corruptors from other countries, and sometimes they generate such ideas that nobody else can. To be serious, the expectations are high of this system of electronic procurement. First, it eliminates the corruption aspect of the disqualification of participants whose documents don't meet meet the requirements. Only the documents of the winners will be checked, and nobody knows who the winner will be. Secondly, the corruption scheme of preparing tenders and writing terms for a special participant is also eliminated by this system. The complaints procedure will be different. When the participants see that something is wrong with the tender, they can lodge a complaint and cancel the tender. A lot of people are still afraid to take part in public procurement under any system. Some of them are afraid that the state won't pay them money, but in fact, the state really pays the money. How much is it possible to save per year with the implementation of ProZoro? In 2015, with the pilot version, we saved 500 million grievners. Now it's 1.3 billion grievners. Since January the 1st, we have saved an additional 800 million grievners. Our plan for 2016 is to save 5 billion grievners. And for 2017, when the system will work in full for the first whole year, starting in January and ending in December, that figure is 50 billion grievners. And now we are joining with Viktor Nestula, who is a program director at Transparency International Ukraine, which was initially developing the Prozora. In Ukrainian, it's transparent, so there is a play word. The system and later transferred it to the government, but still is working with uh, the government to uh, add some uh, more features and intelligence that you would say say more. So, good evening. Good evening. Uh, so, Victor, of course, the congratulations with the word, and, uh, but 
you from the independent in the institutions seen, uh, still. So if, if to be, we've shown the part of the prod, we praised the system in some way a couple of minutes ago. Uh, but really, what are your still concerns? What else should be done? How it's working? Is it all perf perfect? No, of course not. And actually, we are here reforming public procurement in general, not only this small part of e-procurement. Because e-procurement system Prozoro, it's only a tool for communication. Of course, it's a great tool which makes everything transparent and everything is open by default, which actually is unique for the world. So basically, for those who watched our report but maybe didn't get, so this is the procurement system where everybody can put their bids. Yes, it's an online system where procuring entities can announce the tender, uh, suppliers can put their bids. Uh, and civil society can control and monitor everything. And also there is a place for controlling agencies which can review claims or complaints and give their decision online. So basically all the process of communication in Ukrainian public procurement is now online and is visible for everyone. And for that uh, purpose we developed one of the best business intelligence tools in the world for government. Uh, so basically uh, everyone with several clicks can look at uh, any procurement, any price, uh, any complaints and any document. Even contracts are online and you can read through the whole contract, all uh, conditions, anything. But look, the part of that, it also requires especially the uh, organizations or the institution all over the country to be involved. You know, like you can have a nice digital tool, mm -hmm. but if people in a village A do not know about that, or if it just, you know, no capacity to check it, mm -hmm. how kind of you can fight corruption with that? Yeah, so like so with the East system just. Actually, now many people think that Prozoro is the only part of the reform, of public procurement reform. But it's not. And we have a very long list uh, of things that we have to do to actually to make the best public procurement system in the world with the highest level of trust. And in this list, we have promotion, we have professionalization, uh, we have uh, good complaints mechanism. And actually, Prozoro concept is great for development of all these parts. Because Prozoro, it's not uh, just an e-procurement tool. It's more about uh, values, if it's more about principles, and it's more about its concept. Because we won this uh, Open Government Partnership Award not for making some uh, e-procurement tool. Uh, but for making it in a way which is a unique uh, or which ca ca can be uh, like the most important uh, now. It's cooperation between government, between civil society and between business. And every stakeholder has its unique role promoting uh, its own ideas and its own uh, like Pushing, push, pushing forward its own uh, ideas. We have, it's great to have you here. While we have talked to uh, one of our colleague, investigative journalist Yuri Nikolov, and his initiative, Nashi Hroshi, our money, had been for many, many years before um, Prozoro existing, uh, you know, looking at the procurement. And that's what he said to us. Somebody who is really an expert in that. Uh, yeah. Is the Prozoro system a solution to stop corruption? Not really. We can't say this system fights corruption. It's a big mistake, disseminated like a PR campaign by its founders. It's doublespeak, and as a result, people who admire this system will be disappointed. That's because from next year, all customers of Ukraine will work with this system, and all the loopholes will be obvious, because this system is mainly a platform for people who come with their products or services and propose them to the customer. It's a meeting point. Of course, it differs from the previous system called the Herald of government procurement by its adaptability to streamline. And that's why this new system wins. For those customers who have good aims, for example, to buy something cheaper with public money, Prozoro is the best variant. But for those who want to steal, the system is unprofitable. It's just a platform where to meet. So if people want to bribe, there is no difference between doing it with a Cypriot bank or with cash. Both variants are corruption. They can do all the negative things they've done before with ProZoro. And even now we have dozens of examples, both positive and negative. For example, many of the things happening in the NAFTA gas system are positive, no doubt. 
Essentially, Ukugas Vidobuvanya is an example in the sphere of the government's procurement. It shows how to work if you want to be useful for the state and not to steal money. But also Naftogas has a structure, Ukutransgas, and their procurements look like a time capsule against Naftogas. And all of these comparisons point to the fact that Prozoro isn't a solution to fight corruption. It's a good tool for those who don't want to steal, though. Jail corrupt officials. The platform or the tool is not the problem. If a criminal killed somebody with a hatch, the hatch is not the one who's guilty and not the manufacturer. The man who carried it is guilty. We need to jail people who are engaged in corruption, both from the side of the customer and the supplier. It will be the best decision. There is no problem with Prozoro. The main issue is that corrupt officials aren't in jail. So, Victor, uh, aren't you concerned, as somebody who represented Transparency International, that having a great tool and praising it, mm -hmm. but without the uh, corrupt officials and even those caught on, you know, given bribes, uh, we just create this kind of an idea that everything is good, but without that, it goes for nowhere, as we have the example that people were not later sentenced. Yeah, so first of all, Yuri is one of the best procurement experts in, in Ukraine, maybe in the world. And all he said is true. Because Prozoro doesn't solve all the problems of public procurement system. And that is why we have this professionalization, we have this electronization, monitoring tool development. Uh, and of course, enforcement is one of the crucial things to combat corruption in the, in the public procurement sphere as well. And as Transparency International, we have several directions. One of them is building monitoring infrastructure for public procurement. And now we have uh, public business intelligence when everyone can uh, see everything is, which is happening in the system. We have professional business intelligence, which is used by National Anti-Corruption Bureau, which is used by State Audit Service, by Anti-Monopoly Committee, and a lot of investigative journalists uh, to track collusions, potentially corrupted tenders, and then to give them to for enforcement. And uh, we launched monitoring portal Dozoro when uh, any, any supplier or any bidder or any uh, uh, civil society representative can uh, leave its feedback to actually point a corrupted tender. And then another part of Transparency International work is working with enforcement agency, National Anti-Corruption Bureau, uh, National Agency for Prevention Corruption, Prose Prosecutor uh, Office, and the next step is uh, Anti-Corruption Court. Because we know, even though Prozoro helps to find corrupt practices and wrongdoings, it doesn't help to enforce it and it doesn't imprison everyone. That is why we have to involve civil society and business representatives to monitor. And very important things, not to keep silent, Use our monitoring platform, Dozoro, to leave your feedback to point and corruption. Okay, Victor, so thanks. And also, there we are. Uh, here is Hromatsky, who, uh, and I can promise that we are really also looking closely with all our service. So thanks a lot for, you know, we, again, congratulations with the system, which uh, gets a lot of international rewards, but uh, we are looking as well that is really effective. Mm -hmm.